guys, this is CDJ, and I'm here to bring you a few tips for NCAA Basketball 10 using the big matchup of the week, Purdue at Michigan State. A lot of people online, I see them asking, what can I do to improve my defense? This video offers a few small tips and tricks. However, if you do these throughout the course of the game, they'll really improve your defense. First off, let's learn how to stop penetration. As you can see in this highlight clip, Purdue had great success at times penetrating to the basket, getting easy shots, or drawing fouls. As you see in this clip, I'm user controlling the defender. I get out of position going for that steal. Offensive player blows right by me for the slam dunk. In this next clip, again, I'm user controlling the de defensive player. Offensive player goes right by me, draws a foul, they get two free throws. You can't do that in basketball, regardless of whether it's real life or in the video games. So what do you do? You use defensive assist. It's a feature mapped to R1 on the PS3 and the right bumper on the Xbox 360. Holding it down here, the defensive player stays in front of his man, making it tough, if not impossible, for that offensive player to drive by. The one thing you need to keep in mind is defensive assist will not go for steals for you. It will not block shots. You still need to hit the proper buttons for those things to happen. Defensive assist is a great way to stop that penetration. As you can see, they go one shot and out. Let's move on to the next part of the game, block shots and the close and animation. They're mapped to the same button. On PS3, it's the triangle button. On 360, it's the Y button. As you all know, you get the ball down low, hold down triangle or Y, then you go for that block shot. Everyone loves to do that. However, the close animation, as you see here, the man goes for the shot, the defensive player puts his hand in the air to kind of close out that second. He puts his hand right in the vision. As you can see in slow motion, close animation, plus a box out to aid on the rebounding side of things. Very important. As you can see here, if you're late to close out, you can't give up a layup. You've got to be on top of your game with that feature. Here's another move. If you see someone driving to the hoop, you hold down circle or the B button to draw a double team to stop the penetration. Here, Purdue is still able to find open man for a shot, but if you see someone driving by, they've got you beat, hold down circle or B to call for help. Here's a small tip, not in the blog. If you give up a turnover, take control of a player and get him back to the lane. As you see there, that I was able to get the center underneath the hoop to contest that shot and it allowed me to force a bad shot. Purdue did not get the fast break points. Michigan State gets the ball. They go back on the other end. Guys, those are just a few small tips and tricks, but if you can add those things throughout the course of your game, they'll make you more competitive. The game of basketball comes down to just a few possessions more often than not, and if you can force your opponent to a couple bad shots, you'll win more than you lose. Guys, this is CDJ. Everyone, thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments below.